let us discuss two important tests for checking the given series of functions are uniform or not. See, let us discuss the first test. If the first is we consider summation fn be a series of functions where each fn is defined on a non-empty subset S of R. Getting Sn denotes sequence of partial sum. You know that sequence of partial sum means Sn is equal to F1 plus F2 plus and so on Fn. So the test says the series of function Fn is uniformly convergent if and only if for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists capital N belongs to set of natural number such that mod Sn minus Sm less than epsilon. So that means sequence of partial sum Sn looks like uh, it works as a Cauchy sequence since you know that the definition of Cauchy sequence is similar to this right and this is true for all n greater than m greater than or equal to capital N and obviously it is true for all x belongs to capital S. So you know that Sn means f1 plus f2 plus and so on fm. Sn means f1 plus f2 plus and so on fn. So if you put those values here, first m terms will get cancelled to each other and we will have the terms in mod like this. So this is the first test. Let us discuss the second test which is more interesting. We call it as Verstrass m test. Suppose we have a series of function summation fn where each fn is defined on a non-empty subset s of r and mod of fn of x less than or equal to mn. mn is a real number, getting? So, and this is true for all x belongs to capital S and this is true for all n belongs to set of natural number. And if the corresponding series of function of real number summation mn is convergent, then summation fn, that series of function is also uniformly convergent. It's very important and when we solve problems, we can easily use this test okay so you can make a screenshot of it and then we will stop thank you bye bye